everyone, my name is Ethan. Welcome back to another video. Now, look, here's the thing. This is a very rare type of video. In fact, it's so rare that this is the first one on the channel, and it's probably going to be the last one because I don't I don't do story times. This isn't this isn't one of those videos. This is more like just me telling you guys of something weird that happened a few years ago. So I guess that's a story time. I don't know. I don't do these videos. So first of all, I just want to say that this happened maybe three four maybe. I think three years ago. So three years ago, I was like 14. <laughs> okay. I had maybe 300. 300, I think, is probably a good number. 300 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And I was scrolling through my email. And I had this email from supposedly <laughs> this game developer or game studio. Because that makes perfect sense. And they said to me, yo, we want to sponsor one of your videos. Email us back if you're interested. And I was looking at this, and I was like, first of all, first of all, who contacts a channel with 300 subscribers and gets maybe 20 to possibly 40 views per video? I don't see how that's a good investment for the company. <laughs> I just don't. So I, I so naturally me being dumb, I uh, emailed them back and said, "Yo, I'd be down for this. I'm curious. What is what do you, what am I actually going to be promoting onto my channel?" And they emailed me back like the next day, and they're like, "So we are going to send you one of our video games because we make games, and." You're going to send us your channel analytics, and then from there, if you're interested and you like the game, we will give you money based off what you what we think it's worth. And I was like, okay. Now, this is where I actually kind of got uh, a little bit questionable, because first of all, <laughs> I googled this company after <laughs> I said, sure, I'd be down. So first of all, let me tell you, if any of you get an email like I'm not I'm not pro on sponsors I don't do sponsors I'm too small for that I'm not a professional but before you say yes to anything always look up the company that you're talking with because I looked these guys up and they sent me by the way the file for their game that they sent me was a uh, zip folder and I was like eh, I don't I don't think that's I, no I don't know so I, I googled this company and uh first of all the only thing I found on them was a Facebook page that wasn't in English so I couldn't read anything. <laughs> so I was looking at this email and I waited a few days and I was like you know I don't think that this will work out. Um thank you for contacting me. Goodbye. <laughs> and I never heard from them again. But what gets me is that I'm not sure if I had, like, my email public then or not. I don't remember saying or it being in my SoundCloud description or my YouTube About Me tab or anything. I don't remember that being public. I mean, it is now, but like, back then, I just don't remember that. I don't. I don't even ha like. I didn't even have the website I do now, which has a contact option where you can. By the way, that's a, that's the thing. If you want to contact me, there should be a link to my website in the description below. There's a contact link there. Feel free to send me an email. Let me know what you want. But now, the thing is, though, is like I'm st I was. Only, I only remember that because I was scrolling through my email today, and I watched a video about. Um, the I watched this video from a YouTuber. I think it was like Bill's YouTube, his second YouTube channel. And I watched a video about it, and he's like, this is my, these are my worst sponsor experiences. And I was like, I had an email. <laughs> so, like, uh, that just reminded me of that for some reason. And I was like, this could be an interesting, very short video, because we're only four and a half minutes in. But I just thought that was weird, because they contacted a channel with 300 subscribers, with a very dumb 14-year-old running the channel. <laughs> Who gets very little views, and I still don't get enough views to validate anyone thinking that it's cool to sponsor my channel. But I, I'm, s I'm still somewhat like 
it's just like that had to be like some sort of like scam or something, right? Because that makes no sense. I mean, I said no, and I've never heard from them again, and nothing happened at all to any of my devices, so we're cool. And I didn't download the zip folder because I'm like, nah. But that was just so weird, and I wanted to talk about it. So that was interesting. I think this will be the only video of its kind because honestly, not much interesting thing, not a lot of interesting things happen. But I just figured that'd be kind of like a cool. Uh, this could be like a cool one-time thing. So basically, there's no really real moral to the story. I'm not the best person to be taking advice to when it comes to sponsors because no one sponsors my videos because, yeah. But uh, <laughs> I, I just figured I'd tell you, don't – always look up – okay, this should be without saying. If someone sponsors you and you have under, say, maybe 5,000 subs – be extra skeptical, especially if you've never heard of the company before, and especially if that company supposedly has no, like, social media presence other than, like, a Facebook page with no followers and it's not in English, because I can't read English. I can't read anything outside of English. But that's it for uh, today's video. This is a different type of video, but um, I've been meaning to get in a mic and do something whether it's gaming or something so this is a good excuse for me to just talk so if i come up with if i think of like any other weird things that happened i might do a video just depending on how interesting you guys find this one so i will see you guys in the next video and until next time peace out